Here is Ben Dodd. They come off turn number four. They get them fired up, and Mikey Flynn, car number 24, moves quickly to the front of the class, but already on a roll in the outside lane. Dylan Kopech, second generation driver, with Troy Talman with that familiar tag number three winning paint scheme. As they come off turn four, it is Talman in the second. Meanwhile, behind them, that's where the heat is as they rumble off the turn, quickly moving Noah Corner, Michael Christopher on a move to get to the top four. He's just shy of the podium. Here comes Corner to the inside of Christopher for third. Top three, single out. David Root stepping out of line further back in a near three wide move for position there, just into the top 10 with Rocco and Flannery. Singling out now among the front half of the field. One car, it's Kopech outside wall, back straight away. Looks like it got a little too high, and the caution comes out. And that is Tyler Berry in the 18. Hungry for success here at Stafford. Green flag is out, and Mikey Flynn continues to set the pace. Talman up on the outside, two by two. They're not going on the arc this time. They're going for the victory. Going to come off of turn number four in pace lap formation down to the stripe with Flynn jumping out front over Tallman in second. That'll open the door to the inside. Now the outside for oh, Christopher. Oh, trouble now. Kopech a bit off the pace, going to scatter the field further back. And Everybody's okay up the back straightaway, but really put some separation between the back half of the field. And it was Todd Owen that suffered the worst of the wear in that one. On the previous circuit, now he's dropped back to the 13th position. Meanwhile, down the back straightaway, mid bid for the second spot, Michael Christopher won the TC13 a year ago, and it's amazing how on this night, that car seems to pick up such momentum and speed. Christopher is trying to build a run in that outside lane up the back straightaway, had a peek to the inside a lap ago on the 24, and here he comes into turn number three on race leader Mikey Flynn. Mikey Flynn digging in hard in the upper groove. Remember, both of these drivers started their career in Legends Racing, and now our second leader of the event becomes Mike Christopher. Meanwhile, where is Todd Owen? Still back in the 13th position. Here comes Flynn back to the inside. This one's not over yet. Christopher able to lead last time by. He'll lead this time by, but not by much. Less than a half a car length with Flynn digging hard on the bottom. There's no question as they work their magic and down the back straightaway. Here comes Mikey Flynn. He isn't about to give up in his quest off the turn, back down to the line. Chapman a bit out of shape further back. Here comes Keith Rocco to the inside. That is for the seventh spot. Rocco to 17, Mateo contact with Chapman over in turn number two, right front of that car. Got up in the air just a moment for car 11. Another car that is making its presence in the top 10 or close to it is Marcello Rafano. Remember the story for him in the qualifying earlier. Mechanical problem back up front. Battle Here for the we lead. go again. Mikey Flynn trying to work some magic in the outside. Troy Talman waiting in the third spot. Flynn taps on the back bumper. Trouble off turn four. One car spins to the infield. Half spin for Eric That's Burns. That's Eric Byrne in the JJ prepared car. Deep into turn number three. Here's the pin again. Mikey Flynn, they come together like two cymbals in an orchestra, clinging and clanging, but the brand new leader emerges for the second time tonight, Mikey Flynn, but not for long. And also, coming to the front of the class, it is Michael Jervis, black number 33 car to the inside of row number two. Fourth time by, side by side for the race lead. Flynn and Christopher nose to nose. Talman a bit out of shape behind them. He will fall outside of the top five in car number three. Here's Christopher, bottom shot. Back to the inside in turn number three, looking to retake the race lead to complete lap number 16. At the stripe, it is Michael Christopher. He continues to lead the parade to the bottom of turn number two. Off the turn, Mikey Flynn 
reels it back in. Meanwhile, now approaching the top six, make it seven. Here comes Keith Rocco in the Jean Guy Poulin tribute car as they rumble back to the line. No, Trouble back out. straight away. One car goes spinning to the infield. May have had a little help, does a 360. Gonna try to keep that car fired back up as the race leaders exit turn two and race up the back straight away. Caution and there comes, comes out. a caution. Is that Burnham, I believe it is. Meanwhile, Todd Owen continues to apply the pressure to Noah Corner. Outside to inside. That's the battle for seventh position. Two laps to go. And it is Mike Christopher Jr. that leads the field back to turn number two, keeping an eye on Todd Owen, continuing to try to carve his way up through the field. But here comes Di Matteo back to the inside of Owen. Remember, that was those two that uh, passed each other a few laps ago. Owen to the inside of Di Matteo then. White flag, one lap to run. Owen one lap away from clinching his third consecutive championship here in the SK Modifieds. Well, Mike Christopher Jr. looking to pick up a win in the car number 82. He's picking up where he left off, off turn number four. Michael Christopher Jr. will take down the victory. Michael Jervis, great run to finish in second. Keith Rocco for third.